Mm, thank you for sharing the story. I think it's so important that everybody um, understand where it came from and the blessing in disguise. So, um, so I'm really just honored to have you really dive into the keys and really share um, the information because personally I've seen the value of your teachings and the work that you're doing. So I'm just really excited to dive right into the three keys to nervous system healing. Absolutely. Absolutely. My pleasure. So one, the, I would have to say the, the main focus is to focus all of our attention in our life into one area. And that would be the understanding of the nervous system. Okay, so nervous system understanding would be key number one. Now, the definition of the nervous system uh, for me is our body and what how we understand our body. And we'll be discussing that here shortly. Uh, The second key, we're going to be talking about cultivating our nervous system. Cultivating our nervous system is the healing portion of our nervous system, how to recover lost function or or gain function that was never there, and getting your nervous system up to, uh, you know, what's considered neurotypical level. And then the third key is expansion. What we want to do is focus on expanding, expanding our nervous system's capabilities and, you know, getting it to the highest level possible in all areas of our functional ability. Those are the three keys of, uh, that we're speaking about today. And I'm really excited to share these concepts because these are concepts that I feel that, you know, doctors around the world are have an understanding of this. Uh, they have an understanding of the nervous system. They have an understanding of of the way the body works that's more advanced than what the public knows. And it's not something that's really discussed. It's it's more of an obvious thing. You know, when, when I tell a person that, you know, when I tell a, a group of doctors that, hey, the nervous system is the most important aspect of, of healing, understanding the nervous system. Everybody sits back and says, of course it is. It it controls everything. But it's not a common understanding. If I say that to somebody who's not classically trained in medicine of any sort, um, you know, what's the most important aspect of of your body and your healing? You know, they might say, oh, cardiovascular health or diet or nutrition or, you know, any, any myriad of things. And it's not that they're saying anything wrong. It's just that there's something more important more central focus. And that's what I'm trying to to get across here today, is the first most important thing to understand is the nervous system. Your nervous system should be the central focus of your life. And I say that in a very uh, particular way. I say it should be the central focus of your life because everything you do, everything you'll ever be, everything you'll ever have, your your thoughts, your emotions, your capability of being who you are, your spiritual connection, all this occurs through your nervous system. So it's like saying you have a car. You know, your car is going to take you from A to B and A to Z. And, you know, you could have a car that's broken down and, and not functioning properly. Uh, and you could try to get from A to B and A to Z in that car, or you could focus on, you know what, this is the car I have, and I'm going to, you know, make sure that, that it has air in the tires, and I'm going to make sure the engine's working, and I'm going to make sure that it's tuned up and everything's communicating properly so that I could get to A to Z and, and A to A and A to B as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So I'm simply saying that if we focus our attention to expanding, to cultivating and expanding our nervous system, if we make that the central focus of our life, if we understand that this is the background of who we are, it's it's the piece of paper that we write on, understanding that your nervous system is the central focus of who you are uh, is an important concept because then with that understanding, 
you could place your physical goals, you could place your relationship goals, you could place your spiritual goals, you could place your business and financial goals. Any goals you want, you could place it on top of that understanding that it's your nervous system that is delivering these attributes to your life. So when I say developing your nervous system, people will automatically think, well, I, you know, I, can, I already go to the gym. And that's, that's not what I'm talking about, okay? So let's, let's talk about the, the second key here, which is cultivation. What we want to do is we want to cultivate our nervous system. We want to uh, build its capabilities. And in understanding that, we have to understand that we have, we're, we're much more than what we were taught when we were in school. Our nervous system is more than, you know, the brain, the spinal cord, and uh, the nerves that come out of the spinal cord. Our nervous system in actuality is our entire body, every single cell of our body contributes to the nervous system. All your skin contributes. Every cell of your body contributes to the nervous system. And in fact, in, in my definition of the nervous system, I include anything that is non-physical that is associated with your nervous system is part of your nervous system as well. Because in the traditional model, they only recognize the physical. They do not recognize the non-physical. So you have the everything that is non-physical about you is considered as well. So we're talking about your, your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, your capacity to connect to everything and everyone around you, your spiritual connection. These are all characters, characteristics of your nervous system. And what I do is I teach people how to explore understanding that and how to uh, how that interrelates with the space around our body and and how we connect further with the, the universe around us and have a more full and complete life. So again, when we cultivate the nervous system, we want to build it up. We want to get it up to par, up to the, the life that we know we, we can have. A lot of people may think, oh, that's back to the to the glory days of high school or college, you know, the fitness of, of my younger years. Uh, for some people, it's for fitness or uh, capabilities that never developed. For others, that's weight loss or ideal body size. Uh, it, it really depends on what that person needs, but whatever they want, it has to be accomplished through their nervous system through understanding the principles of how does your nervous system heal, how does it process uh, its toxicity burden, and how to minimize your toxicity burden so that your body has more energy and effort that can be focused on healing. We also want to look at the concepts of nervous system expansion 